Hello guys, welcome to today's lecture. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, HTML hypertext markup language and also uh, which editor we are going to use or you can use. Uh, and also just let's uh, start our tutorial. Uh, so guys, uh, actually in previous lecture we have talked about uh, hypertext markup language or HTML that we are going to make a web page so we just need uh, to have uh, first we just need to use uh, HTML um, what actually markup language is a markup language is a set of markup tags you are going to use tags to uh, the purpose of the tags is to group and describe page content you are going to describe which uh, which page has which tags For example in our main page we are going to have a heading and uh, paragraphs and also images each of them has a separate tag so for example here i just want to display this text in the in our web page so without any markup to give your context structure the browser renders unformatted and unstyled text also known as plain text there is no any format you cannot understand which one is the heading for uh, so there might be so confusion for the user to understand this uh, so here we are going to use some tags to just give structure and meaning to your content as uh, semant uh, a semantic markup refers to the use of meaningful tags to describe content uh, for example using header tags for header content uh, let's go through this here we have uh, html tag uh, doc type html this is not actually uh, going to show you any tag this is for the you uh, displaying the browser which html version you're going to use here this is the version 5 html5 so he, then we have the HTML tag. We're going to have some uh, property and value for this. So here we are going to use some tags to describe our web page. For example, here we have H1 inside the body. We have H1. H1 is actually the heading. Heading one. This is our heading. This is the heading two. That this is this uh, size is smaller than the heading one. Then June 8, 2012, this is the date and time, and we are going to emphasize this. Then we have a paragraph. This is our paragraph. This is our paragraph. And uh, H3 is our mm, he heading 3. This is smaller than heading 2 and 1. Then we have uh, a text gets at 3 p.m. This is going to be bold. And we are having a list. This is an order list. UL is an order list. So here we just give some, uh, mm, just give some tags to our text in order to describe our uh, text to the user a little bit more clear. Here, just see the first one is the heading number one and heading number two. Then there is date. We just emphasize that. Then this is this is another paragraph and this is another heading. And we just made this one as a bold so uh, this is actually how we are going to mark up our text so we have four uh, parts in our HTML uh, they are the most important thing we are going to start from this but we have um, this they are the starting point we are going to, going to have other tags which are also the main tags for example headings paragraphs images hyperlinks these things we are, we are going to talk about that later so here we have doc type this is actually we have seen it in previous slide it, it's about uh, you're going to say the that bit which version of uh, html you're going to use doc type is actually the version 5 of html HTML5. Then HTML tag is uh, you're going to show the browser which 
uh, part is going to start your HTML part you can also use your CSS part inside this file that is why we are going to use HTML tag then we have head tag and also body tag and head tag we are just going to uh, give the title and uh, some meta then in the body we are going to use our main tags which are headings images paragraphs these things so let's go doc type html uh, doc type is not actually a tag as i mentioned before but a declaration telling the browser what kind of html you are using the doc type above declares html5 so this is the html tag the html element defines the whole html document i forgot to say one thing that we have actually a pair of tags uh, most of uh, most of our tags are pairs one is the start tag and another one is the end tag we are for end tag we are going to use forward slash and then the name of tag. for example here we have html then we have forward slash HTML that is the end part of the stack so also the same here for head the head element contains special elements that instruct the browser where to find style sheets you're going to tell the browser that well, I have used the CSS also you can just go to this uh, location and find the style sheet and also it provides meta info and more and you are going to use it uh, to give the title to your browser so the body body tag or the body element contains the document content what is shown inside the browser window just like paragraphs headings images hyperlinks tables list those things and also buttons text box these things so next thing the use of our first three tags html head and body introduce an important concept nesting which is when tags wrap other tags when you create create markup you should indicate nesting by indenting the nested tags with spaces or a tab so so nesting is actually uh, writing attack or opening attack inside another attack this is called nesting for example here the HTML, HTML is the parent and the heading and the body are the sibling but they are the HTML child they are inside the HTML but inside body we have h1 and p they are also siblings but they are children of body they are, this is called nesting so yeah, document hierarchy, parents, children, and siblings, just I mentioned before. Just as in genealogy tree, the family hierarchy is described in terms of relationships. All elements in the document have a parent uh, up to document, which is at the top, and may have children or siblings. Just in previous slides, the HTML is the parent, then the children are head and body, and inside body there are some other tags which are also the children of body so yeah siblings just the head and body are siblings h1 and p are also siblings so the address of an element the document hierarchy provides as with an address for each element so this uh, nesting and uh, making some spaces it will make it cl more clear for us so in the div with class client text container make all of the h2 elements orange and 24 pixel when we say that client text container we have client text container class here all those tags which are inside the div this is actually the parent all the children should be uh, uh, sorry the h2 elements should be orange we're going to change the color to orange by css and make it 24 pixel so html elements uh, just uh, yeah we have talked about tags here we are going to have tag and also the content and also the int tag which is forward slash and name of tag 
An, an HTML element includes both the HTML tag and everything between the tag, which is the content. For example, if you're using a heading, the most important part is the heading. Uh, you're going to use H1, H1 tag. Then the content would be the text that you're going to make it as your heading. For example, use a brown to education is the heading. So you're going to write a brown to education inside the content between those tags, in tag and start tag. So, uh, tags normally come in pairs, yeah, as I mentioned before. The first tag is the start tag and the second tag is the in tag, which we are going to use a forward slash. Uh, here, H1 main headline, this H1 is a head, heading, heading tag. You're going to make main headline as your heading. So you're going to use the H1 tag. This actually tells the browser that main headline is our heading one, which is the biggest uh, part. So HTML has defined set of tag names, also called keywords, that the browser understands. Yeah, the essential elements tags and pri primary structure or HTML head and body, these are tags. And head elements, those elements you are, which you are going to use inside the head, which is the title you're going to use, title, meta, and the, the link that you're going to link it to, um, link, uh, for example, your uh, CSS uh, file to your HTML. Then you have structural elements just like paragraph, break, just like in C++ we used indl or backslash and those that was used to break the line just to put cursor in the next line this is also going to do the same thing break the break the line and h1 to h6 you can use from h1 to h6 all of them are headings you're, if you're having any a list it might be ordered list or unordered list ordered list or those which are going to have one two three four and an order or without any uh, ordering and the a tag which is used for hyperlink img tag which is used to bring an image and you have uh, div this is also a structure element and formatting elements you're going to format your um, text for example you're going to emphasize it which is just like italic and i is italic a strong you're going to make it bold and also we have bold Q which is going to co uh, quote your text and block quote also the same then you have span so um, in HTML tag the uh, uh, most element can have attributes which provides additional information about the element this is actually an attribute lang is an attribute and this is English this is the value of your attributes so uh, sometimes for making uh, some styles to your uh, tags you're going to give them some class names and all or ID these things so attribute always follow the same format name equals to value this is the name part and equals to inside the double quote or you can, you can also use single quote and you can write the value for example here it's, it's you are going to give it a class name which is uh, left now so the essential attributes we have link which is used inside the uh, head tag you are going to link it uh, link your CSS file to your HTML file and IMG is uh, used for bringing an image to your uh, web page and A is your when you want to make it as your uh, here my school my school is actually a text you're going to make it a hyperlink when someone clicks it it will take you to uh, column that you do this is uh, website it, it will take you to that website or you can use a um, web another web page so so guys this was today's lecture uh, please 
subscribe to our channel and uh, share it to your friends okay see you guys in the next lecture